You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the options playbook, the program where we break down cutting edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the Options Playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Trade King Group. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to TradeKing.com slash ODD to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through TradeKing LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. Now let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Trade King Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. Now, we've had a couple of great question and answer sessions the last few times on Options Playbook Radio, but now I think it's time to get back into strategies. And we just had earnings season that's kind of ran its course. So today we're actually going to look at a strategy just based on the overall market. And in order to do that, we're going to approach it as a long butterfly with puts which means that if you're following along at home and have an options playbook on your table, please turn to page 104 and you'll find the strategy long butterfly with puts. And as always, if you have a computer in front of you, you can always just go to optionsplaybook.com, go to the strategies tab and look for that strategy there. And lastly, in the Kindle edition, uh, all you have to do is go to the table of contents and in the table of contents, you will see the strategy Long butterfly spread with puts. We've gone through the earnings season. We've had kind of a run up in the markets. And I think that we're at a very interesting place as far as the S&P 500 index is at. We're approaching a new high. Uh, right now, the 52-week the, the high in the S&P 500 index is, well, let's just call it 2130. It's very close to that level. The all-time high is very close to that level. And we've kind of had a little bit of a breakout to the upside. So I think the markets are fairly interesting. We got the VIX trading just above 14. Uh, we had kind of a flat market today. Right now, we're taping the show as of Wednesday, June 1st, uh, after the market closed. So the S&P 500 index today, we saw was up only a few points. So uh, it's currently trading at 2,099.33. And we're going to call it 2,100 just to make life simple. So Here's the concept in that uh, every once in a while when I feel like the market's a little bit toppy, but it, it might go higher, I like to use butterflies and then do an adjustment on that butterfly trade. And I think we've used it before in Options Playbook Radio, but I know we're well over 100 episodes at this point in time. I don't know exactly when or where, but I do think that the timing is right to try to do this butterfly strategy. And it's going to be only a week-long trade, so it's going to be very quick trade. But in the S&P 500 index being a over 2,000 point index, there's a lot of premium in those option contracts just based on that alone. And the VIX isn't bad. The VIX is, yeah. well, let's get you an exact quote on the VIX here. The VIX is at 14.20 exactly is where the VIX is at. So um, we up above 14, we got some decent volatility in the marketplace and we got some things going on. So as far as the markets are concerned, I really think that right now is a pivotal point Will the market go higher and go on through and set a new all-time high in the S&P 500 index, or is it going to come off a little bit and give back a little bit of its gains? And that's when I like this strategy 
in the S&P 500 index. And once again, I always have to let you know that when we're talking about any strategies or any scenarios in the S&P 500 index, they're never meant to be recommendations. We're only here on Options Playbook Radio to try to learn about options and have different scenarios in your own portfolio where uh, it might be attractive to do these type of strategies. Okay. So S&P 500 index, we're going to call it... uh, uh, 2100. We're going to be looking at a weekly trade using the weekly options in the S&P 500 index. And I do think that that's fairly important in that in the S&P 500 index, the weeklies are American style options, which mean they stop trading on that Friday after the close of the market. They're not like the monthlies, which are European, which stop trading on the Thursday before the third Friday of the month, okay? Now, because of that also, the weeklies really have different terms and conditions, obviously, but they also trade electronically on the SIBO markets. And I've found that if we do have open outcry pits down on the floor and electronic markets, that the markets are usually tighter. And I find myself getting better fills in the S&P 500 weeklies than actually in the monthly contract. So, Because of that, we're going to stay in the weeklies. So we're going to use the June 10th expiration, which is nine days out. And what our goal here is that we're going to go uh, just a few percent down below the market. And that's where our middle strike is going to be. So the middle strike that we're going to use in our long butterfly spread with puts is going to be the 2080 put strike with that June 10th expiration. So let's let's just set it all up. Let's start from the highest strike down to the lowest strike, okay? So we're going to start by buying the most at-the-money strike. So we're going to buy one 2,100 strike put in the S&P 500 index. We're going to then sell two of the 2080 strike puts in the S&P 500 index and then buy one of the 2060 puts in the S&P 500 index, all of them with a June 10th expiration. And that means that there are now nine days remaining until those option contracts expire. So we're doing this one by two by one to make it a standard butterfly. We are 20 points wide. And this entire trade right now is trading at the midpoint of $3.10. And that's usually where I'd like to fill on that trade. Now, if you take that 20 points, the width between that minus the net debit paid, that means that the maximum you could make on this trade is $16.90. Okay. My maximum risk on this trade is that net debit that I paid $3.10. Now, As far as the trade is concerned, if we come back in and we place this trade and on Friday or on Monday or on Tuesday, all of a sudden the market just kind of slowly creeps down and it creeps down from the 2100 level down towards that short strike. Well, life is simple. You just want to close that trade and get out. So once you put this trade on, you the two things that you want to happen in the market is you would like implied volatilities to go down. And you'd also like, and that, I mean, implied volatility, we're talking the VIX index, the volatility specifically in the S&P 500 index. And we'd also like time to erode, time to decay if we're going to be correct on our forecast. So the closer to expiration that this thing it, it creeps down to the, the sold strike, which is 2080, the better off that we're going to be on this trade. So those are two things. Now, The problem here is that when markets go down, if they go down in a hurry, implied volatilities have a a much much more likelihood that they will increase as opposed to decrease. But we have a huge amount of theta that's involved in this, which is time decay. So each day that passes uh, with this pricey of option contracts, the, the juice really starts coming out. And I find that if I'm looking at weeklies in the S&P 500 index, that Wednesday to Thursday, that that, that day, I seem to see a lot of time decay or a lot of premiums start getting sucked out of these S&P 500 index options. 
Now, I want to give you a little bit of a plan, though. Um, if the market goes up 20 points as opposed to down 20 points, what we're going to look to do is roll it into a uh, bull put spread. In other words, we're going to go from being a little bit bearish to being bullish to neutral on the trade. And we're hoping to be able to do this roll and still bring in enough credit to make it profitable if the underlying doesn't come down and go below our short strike, which in this instance is going to be the 2080 strike, okay? So we'll look at it next week and hopefully, honestly, I'd like to see the market actually continue on up because that will give us good fodder for the next Options Playbook Radio. And we can talk about the time when we would have hedged and why we hedged uh, the specific trade. But if we do see it come back down, I'll tell you also when we're going to look at taking profits in this paper trade and see how much we can learn from this week's episode of Options Playbook Radio. So that means that that's it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. If you have a topic you'd like to discuss on the show or a question you'd like us to answer on the program, we have a Facebook page specifically for Options Playbook Radio. Just go to facebook.com slash tradeking, find a little tab for Options Playbook Radio, and you can send me questions there and also see archived episodes of Options Playbook Radio. Or you can always just send them directly to me at the options with an S guy at tradeking.com. And as always, you can connect with me via the Trade King Trader Network and my blog called The Options Guy. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back to the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish out. The Options Playbook was brought to you by Trade King Group. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to TradeKing.com slash ODD to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through TradeKing LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider, or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.